Hello, so I thought I'd make a video uh, for the moment because I'm at a really cool place and I'm also exceedingly bored. So um, the place, if I can flip my camera around, is the Australian Synchrotron. It's a very cool facility. Um, it's about an hour's drive out of Melbourne. So what a Synchrotron is, is um, electrons go, there's a big sort of ring, it's a bit hard to see. You know, that sort of there. And, um, electrons are sort of, um, it's like a particle accelerator. Electrons go round and round in a circle. And then they're sort of bent off their path by magnets. And this sort of bending uh, produces light. This light is very high intensity and uh, can be tuned to different wavelengths. And it's very useful for um, analysis, especially X-ray analysis. So it's basically a particle accelerator designed to generate light. I'm here with a group of people from my university and we're doing some single crystal x-ray stuff so we're trying to solve some structures of some metal organic frameworks and that's what we're working on. Using the high intensity x-ray sources here allows us to generate structures, uh, very good structures, very good data and very very quickly um, what we can't do back in my um, home university. So that's why we go to all the effort to travel out here to the middle of Victoria this is our little area. Uh, it all looks quite complicated, but a lot of this stuff is just cooling because uh, the measurements have to be taken at liquid nitrogen temperatures. So uh, that's the detector there, and the x-rays come out over here. Uh, and so the x-rays are similar in size, their wavelength is similar in size to the bond distances in the, in the perfect crystal that you mount there. So then uh, those x-rays diffract, and you get a diffraction pattern on the detector, and using that diffraction pattern you can then work out what the structures or material are using some computers which is really really cool because the x-rays are such high intensity we have to be behind this big lead door when uh, we're running the measurements so uh, all the computers and stuff are on the outside here so we don't get all irradiated and shit so this place is a 24-hour facility so that your university or whatever group you're sort of hooking it with will um, get allocated a time um, but it doesn't <laughs> It's not generally a, a nice 9 to 5 time for me and my lab mates. We're allocated a time from uh, about 10 p.m. to 9 a.m. I got out of bed at 6 p.m. because there's some accommodation here. So I got out of bed at 6 p.m. and it's now 5.30 a.m. And so, you know, we're all exceedingly tired and cranky and getting quite, shit that the, quite shitty that the data's um, quite shitty. So it's really probably the worst sleepover I've ever been on. But still, um, you know, it's really interesting to come and experience this. So yeah, um, I'm not going to do too much more detailed sort of um, filming and stuff because I'm not sure if I'm allowed to film in here, let alone make a YouTube video about it. Also, a uh, quick update on my university studies. Actually, as of about 36 hours ago, I did my last thing I needed to do for my university degree. So I now have a Bachelor of Science Honours. I don't know my grade yet, I know I've passed. I'm actually, I'm actually done from university. Um, so I just sort of volunteered to come along here. It just by coincidence happened to be after I finished <laughs> graduating, but I could still come along and just help out. So nothing I'm, nothing I'm helping run is actually my samples, so I'm not personally invested in there, which is good because it's data shit. What next? Uh, I don't know. Every second person, every first person has been asking me, so what are you going to do with your life now? And um, I don't know. But that's exciting, you know. So, um, anyway, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed, enjoyed this. And um, we'll see you for some actual chemistry later on.